critical holiday season with good cheer, raising its profit expectations for the current quarter. The nation's largest consumer electronics retailer on Tuesday joined a handful of other big box stores like Target and Walmart which are putting up strong sales numbers from the third quarter. Best Buy, once under severe threat from Amazon.com, is holding its own after aggressively expanding its online operations, speeding up deliveries and making visits to its stores for customers a better experience. That effort was led by Hubert Jolie until he stepped down in 2019 after seven years as CEO. Corey Berry took over the job in June. The Richfield, Minnesota, company has also recognized the value of technology that will help an aging nation. In May, Best Buy acquired Critical Signal Technologies, a provider of personal emergency response systems and telehealth monitoring services for at-home seniors. In August, it bought the predictive healthcare technology business of Biosensics and hired its data science and engineering team. Last year, it purchased Great Call, which provides emergency response devices for the aging. This holiday season the company began offering next-day shipping for any sized order on thousands of items following similar maneuvers by Walmart and Amazon. The company posted third quarter profits of $293 million or $1.10 per share. Earnings, adjusted for one-time gains and costs, were $1.13 per share, easily topping Wall Street's per share projections of $1.04, according to a survey by Zacks Investment Research. Revenue was $9.76 billion, also exceeding expectations. Same-store sales rose 1.7%, marking 11 consecutive quarters of gains. For the current quarter ending in January, Best Buy expects its per share earnings to range from $2.65 to $2.75. Analysts surveyed by Zacks had forecast adjusted earnings per share of $2.64. The company said it expects revenue in the range of $14.75 billion to $15.15 billion. Analysts surveyed by Zacks had expected revenue of $15.06 billion. Best Buy expects full-year earnings in the range of $5.81 to $5.91 per share, with revenue ranging from $43.2 billion to $43.6 billion. Shares of Best Buy, up 40% this year, jumped 8% in early trading to a new high for the Berry and CFO Matthew Bailunas unveiled the company's results for the quarter and provided a forecast on a recent call. And they are excited about the holiday plans. Best Buy recently reported its quarterly earnings and it indicates that the Minneapolis-based retailer is poised to have a big holiday season. The U.S. comparable sales increased 2% in better-than-expected results due to stronger sales in appliances and consumer electronics so Best Buy raised its full-year profit forecast. Plus Best Buy reported a 15% growth in online sales. We are excited about our holiday plans said newly appointed https slash slash pulse2.com slash best buys first female ceo cory berry on her new leadership role slash best buy chief executive officer cory berry our teams have once again put together a best in class assortment prepared an amazing set of deals and ensured we have great inventory availability in a previous quarterly earnings report best buy warned that it would be dealing with general uncertainties about the tariffs however best buy chief financial officer matthew by luna said that the company is seeing improved expectations for the current quarter including the holiday season. Best Buy has made improvements to its logistics in order to support faster order processing and delivery. And Best Buy now has free next day delivery on thousands of items along with new pickup locations established within CVS and UPS stores in New York City. There are plans to expand this program outside of New York as well. Another major initiative that Best Buy is focused on is the diversification of its services to reduce its reliance on consumer electronics. For example, Best Buy has seen growth in its technical installation services for Wi-Fi and smart home devices. But more interestingly, Best Buy has moved more into the healthcare market. By further penetrating into the healthcare market, it would help drive Barry's goal of driving the company's revenue from $43 billion in sales now to $50 billion by 2025. Earlier this year, Morgan Stanley analyst Simeon Gutman estimated that Best Buy's moves into healthcare could drive HTTPS slash slash www.bloomberg.com slash news slash articles slash 2019-09-24 slash Best Buy CEO's healthcare as retailer's next big thing between $11 billion to $46 billion in the company's long-term revenue. Best Buy's goal is to provide health monitoring services to 5 million seniors within 5 years. Currently, Best Buy has 1 million seniors using its health monitoring services. To achieve this goal, Best Buy acquired personal emergency response company Critical Signal Technologies. Best Buy also offers five-star services to connect customers with agents who can send emergency support. Today, 
most of the seniors we serve are utilizing easy to use mobile phone products and connected devices that are tailored for seniors and come with a range of relevant services, added Barry. Global Data Retail Managing Director and Retail Analyst Neil Saunders praised Best Buy for its ability to pivot to strategies beyond selling electronics. Moody's Investor Service Vice President slash Senior Credit Officer Charles O'Shea also lauded Best Buy's performance as very impressive. And he credited the company for holding its own against the likes of Walmart, Amazon, and Target. The areas where Best Buy saw slowdowns were in the sales of gaming consoles and home theater systems. And tariffs are still a concern for the company as it is would be highly affected if the 15% tariffs on Chinese imports are imposed on December 15 assuming that a trade deal fails. Around 60% of the products that Best Buy sells come from China. The company's updated forecast includes the best estimate of the impacts of the tariffs. The company has definitively emerged as the poster child for how to not just survive, but thrive, while competing against Amazon commented Loop Capital Markets Analyst Anthony Chikumba in a note via Barron's HTTPS slash slash www.nasdaq.com slash article slash Best Buy stock is gaining because its earnings were good 2019-11-26. Wells Fargo rated Best Buy stock market perform with an $85 price target, up from $65. But Wells Fargo also cautioned news about the tariffs. Q4 will be telling with six fewer holiday selling days, a ramping promotional environment and tariffs just beginning to enter the gross margin line, noted Wells Fargo Securities Senior Equity Analyst Zachary Fadum via MarketWatch HTTPS slash slash www.marketwatch.com slash story slash Best Buy's health offerings now serving 1-1 million seniors with a goal of 5-1 million in fiscal 2025-2019-11-26, mod equals homepage. Looking further ahead, we see reason for fiscal 2021 optimism on an improving product lineup. 5G, 8K TV, gaming consoles, and easing compares, but in our view, tariffs remain the single biggest sticking point for shares today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to channels.